Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video... In today's video, I'm going to be making some Mother's Day cards. So I am trying to use up some paper that I don't like, which is this cream colored paper. And here I thought I was gonna use up a whole bunch of it and I used up only one sheet, but I still have like a whole entire pack left. So I don't know, I'm trying to use it um, whenever I can. Um, I am using some Anna Griffin dies today. So we are going to be making a heart easel card. And this is an Anna Griffin die. It kind of, you know, cuts out the pieces for you. I mean, obviously it's a die. <laughs> That's what dies do. They cut out the pieces for you. And um, so I have that. And then I'm also using this Anna Griffin die and this just says Happy Mother's Day inside the heart. Now, what I did not know is that this die actually comes in a set of three. You also get like a Happy Birthday and I think the other one is Happy Father's Day or something. I didn't know this and I ended up looking for the Mother's Day die on eBay and they were selling just the Mother's Day die. So you could see that they like cut out the sheet and they just included the Mother's Day one. So I definitely got uh, gypped off. Don't do that. <laughs> Wait till it comes back in stock or something guys. I don't know. But I really wanted it because it was really pretty. Um, so I have all of my pieces cut out. We are going to be assembling our cards and I'm going to use craft card stock. It's something I also don't use a lot of. And then I have this, uh, these stickers here. These are from Recollections and I think I bought these at Michael's. I think they were on sale last time um, I was there, you know, before the whole, before everything shut down. Um, and they had some of these, so I figured I would use some of this. And the reason I'm also using the off-white is because there's like off-white colors in here. It's not white. And then same thing with this. This is the Bow Bunny chipboard stickers, and I thought I could incorporate them into my Mother's Day cards. And this is from uh, Tuesday morning. So I just, I was thinking Mother's Day when I saw this. So we're going to get started. Obviously, we could put these aside for now because we don't need those until after we assemble our cards. Okay, so first things first, let's make our um, card base. So I'm going to put those pieces aside. And right now, all I need is these. So I have my bone folder here. And I'm going to crease this like this. And it, you know, it creases well because it's already like pre-scored for you. And then there's this piece that goes backwards like that, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one because we're gonna make two. Okay, before I attach this top piece, I am going to attach this bottom piece. Now I want the inside to be pink, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I also have my glue. I'm gonna be using art glitter glue this time instead of my barely art glue, only because I'm trying to use this up. I only have like this much left, so as soon as I finish this up, I'll be like full time using the barely art glue because I do like it better, um, but this is still a good glue. not trying to put too much um, just a little bit and layering it inside my card On another note, I hope you guys are enjoying these real-time videos. They, um, I like them because they're easier to film. I mean, because I'm making these projects anyway, so I feel like if I'm doing real-time, I could just kind of film like everything that I do. If that makes sense. I don't have to get all fancy. Some of you guys did message me that saying that you did like them. That you do like them because you're able to follow along with the project better so that was uh, definitely my goal I wanted you guys to be able to follow along and kind of like craft with me while I am making everything that I need to make 
Okay, so those are the bases. Now the top part is going to be easy to put on. I have another one in craft paper, but you kind of just line it up with this, with the pink underneath when you stick it down so that it's not showing. I apologize if you guys hear the train in the background. That's not really something I have control over. But anyway, then you put some glue on here. And again, I said I'm going to be lining up this craft thing here. So I'm going to put it, line it up on the bottom here. And then I'm going to kind of like fold it back. Just make sure to crease that. I got a little bit of glue there. That's okay. It's going to dry as long as there's no glue on here. And I'll flip it this way and I'll crease this too. Like unfold it and crease it. Okay, so then this just will close like that and when it opens it'll be like that. Okay, so let's do the other one. Again, you're just putting glue on this flap that you had folded. Okay, so those are our two cards right there. Then I wanted to put down this piece, again, trying to use up the ivory color, and I think it just goes with a craft paper. So this I'm gonna completely stick down. I'm gonna try to put glue on here in the biggest pieces um, so that I can stick it down. Just a little bit of glue all over and then around the edge as much as I can. Because again, I just want it to stick down and stay. Is that one and let's do this one as well these are gonna be fairly similar but different in terms of embellishing but the beginning setup is the same it's just easier to make cards in bulk sometimes or actually all of the time <laughs> and I didn't do this before so I don't really know what I'm doing I mean I have made um, the heart easel cards before but I you know, I don't have like a template or anything that I'm looking at right now. I'm just kind of doing this with you guys. All right, just trying to get the edges. And I'll stick this down also.
Okay, so then the next thing I wanted to do was put down this Happy Mother's Day thing. Obviously, I need like some kind of a background, so I was thinking this, um, and then here, and then obviously we would decorate this with some um, embellishments and stuff. I don't know. I might think that this might look better with like a pink background instead, but I'm trying to not make it look too Valentine's Day y, which is why I chose like a off white color. I don't know. I think it might be okay as long as we embellish it. So we're going to leave it, I guess, with the cream, but I also want this to have some dimension popping off of here. I didn't cut it out in foam, which I totally should have, but then I took it apart already before I thought of that. So we are going to do this another way, but this part's not going to get anything in the middle, which is, I don't, I don't know how that's gonna work but we could definitely do the outside so I have my roll of foam tape here and all you want to do with this is just um, you're gonna take off like a bit and you're gonna cut it into strips like thin strips because I'm gonna put it on the outside of this frame So for example, there's one strip, I'm going to do another one, I could probably get four out of here. Okay, so now what you're going to do is take off the backing of this which makes it more like moldable and this will like fold and stuff um i think some of these are still like some pieces are still a little too long so i'm gonna cut off some more I definitely want to use non-stick scissors for this, otherwise everything is going to stick to your scissors. Okay, so now I'm going to start sticking this down on the edges. And again, this is like moldable now. So I'm going to mold it into like this heart shape. This is actually working out good guys because I'm going to use two of those strips per card for these things. Alright, and now let's do the other one. I think this one is thin enough, hopefully. Okay, I think the end here is a little too thick. You need like super thin guys. So there's our one done, and then this could just stick on to here. So it'll just line up with this. OK, 
Okay, so that gives it a little teeny bit dimension. Okay, because this part is still like flat, but it's still, you could tell that it's not like stuck down completely. And if you wanted to, you could have put something like right here, which maybe I'll take like this piece and see if I could get in. Probably not though. I'll try. I don't want to kill it. Okay, I actually got that, guys. So this part right here, I added a, a little bit of foam tape. All right, so that is going to be going on top of our card, just like that. In a little bit though, I'm gonna do the other one also. So I have this piece and again, just around the border and then I'll try to add in like a little bit there as well. But again, I have to cut more of these because, or I have to cut more of it because it's still a little too thick. Alright, you guys see this little piece here? I'm just going to stick it on randomly. And that will go right there. <laughs> it works. So why not, you know? And I also have these little pieces, like this strip, where I could just cut off. This is what I just cut off from the other one, so I could just actually cut off bits and pieces. I didn't do this on the other one, but that's okay. Just some strips throughout. Okay guys, I think we're doing a really good job with that. Sorry, I was totally focusing on that. Now I gotta do the other half of the heart, but again, I gotta cut off more of this strip because it's just a little too thick. And again, you wanna take off the top piece before you try to start molding it. So then this is gonna go on to this, this heart right here. I'm just pressing down because I want all the other little teeny bits and pieces to stay down. And you guys can see this one has definitely a little bit more dimension than this one, like where this one has some flat pieces. Um, but I am going to try to go back in here, I guess. And I'm going to try to put this piece in here. Oh, you know what? Let's go from this side. All right. We're just going to leave it at that. Did as much as I could. And I still have this little piece of tape left over. So what I do is I just like stick it back on to the roll and I use it another time. Okay, 
so now I'm gonna actually add dimension to these. Oh, I could add some pink. No, if I add dimension to this, okay. So we're not gonna do that yet. I was thinking of making it a full heart, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm probably gonna wanna add some chipboard and then I don't want the full heart underneath it. But you know what? Actually, maybe I will cut out like, I don't know, maybe like a big chunk or something. I don't know. Let me see what I have, guys, because actually I think I just have some foam. So this is like my little bucket of extra foam that got cut out from projects that I didn't use. So I'll just put some on the back of here. Some of them have adhesive on the back, some don't. So I'm just going to layer some of these in here. And I'm not going to go too close to the edge because like I said, we're probably going to want to stick stuff in between. Okay, so there's that one. And we'll do this one too. We'll just do both. Okay, guys, so let's just pretend that this was layered on top. All right, we have some dimension. I'm gonna get my chipboard stickers because I wanna decorate a little bit. So let me open that up. All right, this is what I got here. To work with now so I'm thinking maybe using some butterflies maybe some of these flowers maybe one of them will get flowers and one will get butterflies I'm not sure but let's see I got this flower I think I like that one there. I just feel bad because I'm covering up like a lot of the flower then. And I probably shouldn't have stuck, you know, I'm gonna take this off so I could play with them and move it around without it ruining anything. So I'm just gonna take off the sticky and then we'll glue it down later. But I wanna be able to move it around in case I don't like it. Okay. Let me take off some of these also. Because I do think I'm going to use the flowers. But again, I don't want them to stick down as I'm just trying to see if it works. Okay, so now I could play around with these a little bit without them, you know, sticking to my paper. Maybe we'll do this one like that. Oh, I do think I like that. But I do feel like it needs something else as well. Um, let me look at these stickers. I know I wanted to use these on the inside as like the sentiment, but 
Um, maybe something little like this one could say Mawesome, like ma awesome kind of thing. Like maybe even, even if it's like right there. Um, let me see what else. Or maybe we'll just use a butterfly. Why is it that embellishing always takes the longest part? It's like picking out the papers and then doing the embellishing part is the longest. And I think I'm thinking now that I probably should have done a pink um, background for this, but we didn't. Ay ay ay. Okay. Um. Anyway, here's my butterfly. Oh, that looks good. Like on top a little bit, because it still says Happy Mother's Day. Okay, I think I might leave that one like that. Let's just put it off to the side. And let's play with this one. So we have some more flowers. I do have another butterfly, but this one's like a little orangey. And I have that big one too, but I don't know if that one's going to go. Maybe I should try to make it go because I don't know how else I'm going to use it anyway. So maybe this one will go underneath. But I kind of like it when it's on top. Well, this one will kind of go on top like that. I mean, obviously it sticks out. But then I'll still say happy. I don't know what kind of um, envelope I'm going to fit this into afterwards. But maybe that's okay. <laughs> um, let me see what else I could use here. Maybe we could use like a page flag. Okay, um, <laughs> what else? I think the orange butterfly would have worked if I used um, a sentiment that says like amazing or something, but I don't know, I think this one just needs like another, it needs like a flower. So let's use this. I really hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I know I'm like quiet, but it's also because I'm like focusing, but that way I also feel like it gives you guys time to focus, especially if you're crafting along with me um, to try and place things. All right, so maybe that one there, or you know what, let's put this one down here. Maybe this one up here. I don't know. I hope you guys are liking these videos. Okay, so I added the heart, but I don't know if I like this one now. I'm going to put it back on the chipboard. Um, I think it's just too much foil with this. But then this one, I'm thinking of completely changing the butterfly to this uh, orangey one instead. And yeah, I know I took off the pieces, but that's okay. I'm still sticking them back in and we'll just put it back in the foil and it'll stay. So I'm thinking this one will get that. Oh, I kind of like this. It says life with you is magical. That's cute. I don't know. That might be a little too much for the outside of the card since it does say happy mother's day, but we can always put the happy mother's day inside of the card. I didn't think of that one, huh? So we could put, hold on, completely destroying. We could put this on the inside 
It's just when it stands up, it'll be like this. So we could put this down here, or ideally we'd probably want to lay this flat. No, I don't really like it on the inside. It's going to go on the outside somewhere. But maybe this will go here. This is life with you is magical. So that could go there. And then this could go maybe like here. Um, we need more flowers. loving this one guys I don't know what's wrong with it <laughs> all right I have this big heart chipboard and I'm not gonna take this off yet but maybe this will work like here is that too much because I'm kind of liking it this one's gonna be super layered I actually like that, guys. I'm going to stick that down. Oh, we stuck it down. Okay, that one's not moving anymore. Then I was thinking of this one here. And... Still need some kind of a flower. I wish there was like a little butterfly. I think that butterfly is too much for for this one. Um, but maybe we could also include this little flag here. All right. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm trying to use up my chipboard, guys. I bought it specifically for Mother's Day project and then I haven't like used it. Okay, so this is very uh, dimensional for sure. Um, and like I shouldn't have put those down first. I should have just waited to see where I was going to need dimension. But I am going to use my hot glue now. I think hot glue just adheres a little bit better. Um, and I'm going to stick this down very uh, dimensional guys That was just not fitting there in my spot, so I needed to chop it. And we still need to chop a little bit. Or we chop some from here. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Destroying the card, guys. That's okay, though. I don't know where that piece just flew, but it flew somewhere. Anyway, so this is going to go on top like this. All right, but that fits better now. some pieces here that are going to need 
a double. All right, so I think I'll put this like that. Actually, no, no pieces need a double. All right, we're gonna stick this down. Well, some of these have the adhesive, some of them don't. And I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the ones that don't. But I'll put it on the other ones also. Might as well just do them all. Okay, so there's that. And then I wanted this piece to go on top. So this is gonna go like this. We should probably put some dimensional right here. And that wasn't enough dimensional. Oh goodness. Stick that in there. All right. Just need some hot glue in between that because that's not good. Okay, so there is this one. Oh, I like how that looks when it's standing up. I know you guys can't tell, but that looks good. Okay, oh, that's pretty. And then I'm gonna still add some jemmies and stuff to that. But we do need a sticker that goes on the inside here. So we're gonna grab one of these. And which one do I think matches the most? I'm thinking the world's greatest mom on here, this one. But obviously it's gonna go on the inside. Oh, I do like that. I'm gonna get some um, cardstock. So I just have like a scrap of cardstock here. I'm gonna stick this down and we're gonna cut it out. I'm gonna fussy cut. I should probably get some detailing scissors. All right, so I'm gonna cut this out. Guys, I really don't like fussy cutting. <laughs> I don't like fussy cutting. But sometimes you gotta do it. I know some people love it, like they find it relaxing and I'm just, I'm not a good cutter. I never was, I can't cut straight. Even if there's a line for me to cut on, it's not getting cut straight.
right guys so I cut that out and this is just gonna go right here on the inside we obviously need to put some foam on here I'm gonna use this pink foam leftover piece that I have and we're just gonna cut off that very top because that's a good size I guess we'll cut off a little bit of the edge and make it straighter and that's um, a good size for see using up scraps guys even if they're foam scraps but we're using them up and then just add some hot glue to the other side and we're gonna stick this in here so I'm thinking I want this to stand like here so then I'm gonna stick this right there and then this will just stand up like this isn't that pretty oh I like it I'm gonna send my sister a photo so while I'm waiting for her to respond I will continue with the next one but I was really trying to make this not too um, Valentine's Day E, but I think I did a pretty good job. All right, so that's that one. Okay, so that card's done. Super chunky, um, lots of layers, but it's fine. Okay, now this one, where did that butterfly go? Let's just be using a butterfly. My craft space is too small. <laughs> For real though, where did that butterfly go? It's not, um, oh, my sister says she loves it. Yay. Oh, here it is. <laughs> and she said the ugly paper came in handy. The reason I bought that ugly, this ugly cream paper is because of my sister. I needed to make some, uh, baby shower invitations for her. And we ended up having to cancel anyway, but um, she wanted the cream color um, for the invitation. So that's why I do have a lot of it. All right, this one. I feel like this needs something more now. I feel like this one's so pretty. And then this one's not. All right, let's maybe try to do like a bigger piece in the background on here. Um... Oh, there's this one that says bloom. I'm trying to use up those big pieces, guys. Or actually, this one take off the middle. Oh, maybe something like that. Like a little off-centered. Maybe we'll do it on the bottom. Because then here, she'll have this. And that could get the flower. I don't know. I think it's a little too much. Maybe not that one. Let me see what other big pieces I could use. Um, there's this one. Don't really know what this is for. We could use that. Oh, we could use that. No, I'm just going to stick this one down. This is going to go on top anyway. All right, we'll stick this one down. I know this is going to go up here. Um, this one will probably go down here. Oh, I like that under there. It just interferes with this. <laughs> oh, why do I just stick things down and not think it through? This one doesn't have another one that says life with you is magical. It just, um, we have to see. All right, I do, I do like this. We're gonna stick this one down also. 
and just call it a day. And I totally know it's overlapping, but it's fine. <laughs> This one's gonna be also very uh, dimensional here. Oh, that one should have went a little higher. Oh well. I know that this is gonna go here for sure. So I'm gonna stick that down. We just need a little bit on this side. And I totally got some on there. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, that hurts. It's burning my finger. Oh, that really hurt, guys. This is why this channel is not for kids. Okay. All right, that's definitely like a burn. Oh, it's sore now. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna have to put that in some cold water in a second. Uh, we have this. I don't know, should that go in here somewhere? Maybe there, and then this is gonna go here. Super uh, dimensional for sure, guys. I think I'm gonna put this heart there. So this will go right here. Wondering if this one should just get the smaller flower. <sighs> My finger hurts. Um, I've never burned myself on camera before. And I don't think I've ever burned it this bad, but this really hurts. Um, I still feel like it needs a sentiment, whether it says beautiful or amazing or something on the outside. PP. Mm. All right, guys, still trying to figure this one out. I think the top is good. It's just the bottom that's needing some help. You know what guys, I think I'm going to add in this other heart as well on this part right here somewhere underneath. Ah, it's getting lost. We're going to add that right there. I felt like I needed some foiling up there, especially if this one down here gets this foiling. I just haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll just do that flower down there. Do, do, do. I think we'll just do that. So this one's gonna go like this. And this one kind of just Hangs off here.
Okay, and then I think I'll just stick this down. I'm trying to see which side needs a little bit more dimensionals. Okay, we just need a dimensional under here, so I'm putting this one back that I just took off. And then we're going to take all of these off. Look at that guys. I don't know if I should still put that sentiment on it or not. I don't know, maybe I should say amazing instead of beautiful. Um, I just don't know if it's a little too much. But maybe it should go down here. Yeah, I'll put it right here. And we'll send it to my sister. <laughs> And we'll see what she says. All right, let's find a sentiment that goes on the inside for this. And let's see which one do I like? I like this one that says, My mama is one super amazing lady I just don't know how this is that's not gonna like really stick down here um, what can I do oh I could probably put it on a flag that would be good one of these flags that is in the chipboard so I could probably do something like this And put this here. Oh, this needs to be moved over a little bit more. Like on the very end. So that the heart could rest on the flag. No, nope, that's not going to work either because this part. Um, okay, let's do something else. So I really like that one. Maybe this one that says, you taught me everything I know. This is hard guys, I'm really trying to figure this out. <laughs> mm. I'm wondering if I could just use this one, if I could cover this up though, like cover up the whole happiness thing. something a little thicker. <laughs> I like this so much though. And I think I like I like this on the inside too. Look how cute that would look. But it just can't say happiness. <laughs> so what can it say? <laughs> um Ooh, I have an idea.
I want to use that thing, but the only other one that's going to fit, or actually, I Love Mom might fit. It does not, but we can do that, and we can layer something on top of this happiness saying. So, hold on, let me put this back on here because I still have the sticky back on here. And we could just layer, layer like um, that color paper that we used throughout this project, that off-white color. I got some scraps here and I could just cut off like a piece And that will cover this happiness thing. We just need it to be straight. Yeah, I should have done this before. Just made it straight this way. All right, we know one edge is straight. Make this. And then I'm putting this down, but I'm going to layer this with the way that this flag is going. The other flag. So we could just stick it down like that. But it needs to be even. Alright. So we could do that. Okay. So I have that sticker ready to go. And this will go right here. Just make it straight. I don't want any pieces like sticking out. So there is this card, guys. How cute, right? They actually turned out pretty good looking. Now I could send like the completed one to my sister. All right, I'm happy that I used up like quite a bit of that chipboard. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like because I think I did a really good job. Here's that chipboard. We used up some bigger pieces. We didn't use this flower, so we could put this back wherever this one goes. Here we go. Um, but we used up some of these bigger pieces, which I'm happy about. Um, yeah, look at these. We used quite a bit. I'm, oh, that's, we did a good job. All right, so that is this one card. It turned out so cute. What do you guys think? Let me know. And then here is the other one. This one turned out like that. So there we have our two cards. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, craft video, or crafty video, and in real time. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, get to crafting your Mother's Day cards because it is coming up, guys. Mother's Day is coming up. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you like the process, and I will see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!